everybody, it's Valerie, Valerie Walls Fine Arts, free drawing class at one o'clock. Every day I'm here and I'm excited to do a little drawing with you. Um, today we're going to do this uh, great sunset with the cactus on the desert. That's what I mean, right? Yeah. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I'm already off to a great start. So today I decided that I would use my, um, like the chalky pastels, um, if you, and I will also do one in uh, charcoal. So if you just have a pencil to work with, you'll get an idea like how you can still do it. You're just sort of imagining that you're having a black and white photograph of this scene. And so you have to figure out how you're going to have some things black and some things white and some things kind of gray. All right. So let's jump right in. I, I don't see any point in, in waiting around. Let's let's get going. So the, the place where I want to start is the horizon line, okay? We're going to give ourselves a little more um, desert, okay? So we're going to bring that horizon line up a little bit. Um, and then we'll work with the sky, and then we'll work our way forward, do this desert, and then the last thing we'll do is to put these cactus on. We don't want to put them on in the beginning, because then we either have to color over them or um, and get all that black all mixed in with everything or we got to color around everything and we don't want to do, we do not want to do that. Okay, I'm going to start with an orange. Like I said, I'm going to go up a little bit, not quite so low, and I'm going to draw a line that goes across. Okay, so far so good. And what I want to do is save a little spot for my sun. If you want a big sun, make a big half circle. Um, if you want it even smaller, do it smaller, but, um, give yourself something, let's see, probably in this area, enough room so that you might be able to fit a couple of cactus over on this side, because that'll help to do some fun things with the, uh, um, shadows. Okay, so I'm going to do this, and then what I'm going to do, I, I, I am going to try to have a bigger section of blue and smaller this, because the, it, it kind of it is a nice contrast to not make them exactly half and half. So I'm going to go just above wherever I made my sun, and I'm going to just fill this in with the orange. There's quite a bit of coloring stuff today. Um, it's always, if you have crayons or something, if you um, snap them in half and peel the paper off, you can hold them right on the side. Mm -hmm. That's always good. This would be a great one for um, something that you could use a little water to blend things around and accept that it needs to be dry by the time you go to put your cactus in there. That's, that's sort of my big, that's probably really the reason why I struggle with watercolor is that I want to do it a lot faster. I don't have a lot of patience and you have to kind of give things time to dry. One of the things I used to do, I didn't do much watercolor, but I used to work with um, ink and in an ink wash and stuff a lot. But what I would do is just work on three pictures at a time. So by the time one of them, I was done with one of them, one of the other ones would be dry. So that's kind of helpful. All right, let's see. And down here, same deal. I'm gonna give myself a nice little more room in the foreground. And what I want to do with this is, I want to not have my son with a black outline I want to blend that outline into the color, which is sort of representing the orange in this case. Okay, so the one thing we're gonna run up against with this sky is that we're blending from yellow into blue, okay? And when you mix yellow and blue together, what do you get, Daphne? Green. You get green, and usually, I, I, I want to say it never happens, the sky is never green, but sometimes if the haze is just right, it can look a little teensy bit greenish, like maybe at the ocean, or, or if it's very um, polluted, the or the what was she, what's she going to say? The northern lights. The northern lights. If you want to draw a picture of a sky and you want people to think it's the northern lights, Put some green in it and then automatically people will say oh that must be the northern lights because it's really the one time that you see green in the sky okay if you don't know what the northern lights are daphne is going to explain it to you oh i have no <laughs> idea how it works all right we're not going to explain it to you know what no. i need is another that's what the of... internet's for yeah the aurora borealis and yeah. it's like 
um, a phenomenon that takes place in the, I believe, the winter sky. And it's usually in the northern climes. And um, I don't, it's other than that, science lesson I mean, I know this probably has something to do with, you know, the angle of the sun and reflecting off of the things in the atmosphere. I don't, but I mean, yeah, no science lesson really. But I have seen it, I think, once. And one time, Calvin wow. and I drove... I think we drove up to Lincoln looking for it because it was supposed to be there. We drove on the highway and there weren't, you know, no lights and no um, cars. And it was, you know, middle of the night and still didn't see it. What age was time. Calvin? Mm, mm, I don't know. 14 maybe? I don't know. Something like that. Okay. Carry on. Carry on. Um, I'm going to take yellow to be the next thing. Okay, so the whole point is... Again, is when we are going from the yellow to the blue is that we don't want to wind up with green, okay? In this case, what there, so I'm going to put a little yellow right, oh, actually, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on my sun. And if I, if I have kind of a heavy orange line around my sun, just blend a little yellow into that so that it starts to soften that up because we don't want it to look like it's got to just drape around it because if anything, it... It um you know the the sun blends out into the into the yellow okay so I'll overlap my orange a little bit so in this case in this picture what's happened is between the yellow and the blue there's a little white there's a, just a little place and you'll see it that unless it's a cloud that is the the dark part of the sky and then beneath the cloud is the sunset then it's very sharp. Um, um, what do I mean? Transition yeah, sure. from the the blue to the to the sunny. But it's very you can see it's almost the bottom of a cloud along there. Um, otherwise, it really does fade from blue to kind of white to a pale color, and then it goes into yellow and goes into the oranges and reds. You have to look for it, and you'll see it. Okay. The other thing I like to do. <laughs> is which I can't really do with this because I don't have a light pink but if you have a light pink um, you can go from yellow to light pink to light blue and what you happens is the yellow and the pink will blend together and make a real light orange and the pink and the blue will blend together to make kind of a light purple and that's works great if you don't have white, I would suggest that, okay? Or even just plain old pink, even if you don't have a light one. But I don't have one here, so I'm just going to use a little bit of white. Oh, actually, I don't want this one. That I'm going to put right along the top of my yellow here. I know it doesn't show much, but I'll, it'll be here so that when I get to the blue, it will change a little bit, and I'll be like, oh, yeah, wait a minute. Don't forget there's yellow there, okay? So the, this is the thing I want to do next is instead of going from here up, I want to go to this far and then I want to work my way down. Which if you're painting, that would also definitely be helpful because you're just, you're really going to be focused on controlling the blend from these two colors, okay? What we want to do is to have this crescent moon in here. And what I think works will work well is go over here and draw yourself a big circle, okay? Um, if you flub up your circle, okay, say you, um, you know, you did it and it's this big. And you're like, wait a minute, I don't want it that big. We're going to color it all blue anyway, so just color it over. Just, you know, make it a different place if you flub it up. But what you do is you make a circle like this. And then, you know, so you went around, and then what you do is you do the exact same thing, only you go around and you make a little circle that bites out of it. And then when you go to color the sky in, you just cover over that line, and you have your little crescent moon left behind. Mm. So like I said, if you flub it up, it could be anywhere in the sky. You know, it could be over on this side. We're kind of putting it over here just for balance in the design but you can have it anywhere so if you flub it up just color it over with the blue and and try it again no harm but it's fun to have a moon in there i love the moon i am obsessed with the moon not quite as much as i used to be i don't get a chance to there were many years when i didn't get to go and 
you know, follow around the full moon because I had kids to put to bed. So I got a little bit out of it. But in my college days... We're going to get back in it, though. Yeah, we're going out. We're celebrating the full moon this year. We're going to be someplace... Away from people? Um... We tell you where we were going, but we might get in trouble, so we're not going to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> if you're from Orono, I bet you know where it is. We're going to go, but Daphne and I are going to do that. Yep. Do you know Lucky the for next me, I have uh, my, my, my friend, my friend Daphne, <laughs> here <laughs> to be my buddy. Oh. So that I'm not all sad and lonely. Because this would be really boring if I was doing this on myself every day. Look at I got it all over. All over what? All over this. Okay. Good? Looks good. So far so good? So I still need to go from one to another. So at this point, if you have a little space, perhaps you want to just switch blues. I think I'm going to switch blues. I'm going to use this in my dark blue. Um, if you don't, if you only have one, just keep going. And when it gets to the white, it will, um, it will lighten up anyway, or, you know, whatever. Or use purple, use pink. You can make the sunset any color you want. You can make the whole sky whatever color you want. If you want a green sky and it's not northern lights, listen, you do it, because it's your picture. All right. All right. You know. Suggestions to be made, some little tricks for me to pass on, but there's certainly no right or wrong, no only way of doing anything like this. No way. Just some um, procedures that might help it help you. In. So now, when I blend into that white a little bit, I'll get an even lighter blue, and that should work pretty well. Do that. Uh oh. What'd you do? Well, it's a little bit in here. I don't know. It's harder to do it with it off like this. Obviously, gravity is playing a role, but um, a little cloth handy is nice. I can always put. Um, oh, that's all right. Right. Looks good. There we go. Okay, let me do a little down here with the the black and white. So I did take my eraser um, to soften the top of this a little bit because it's going to represent that lighter color in there. Um, again, I, I take that and I make a circle and then I just go around about the same size again and I do that and I got myself a crescent moon and you can make it even smaller and I'm going to go pretty dark up here. Daphne, have you ever seen a real cactus? Um, there's a few in Calvin's room. <laughs> not outside. <laughs> Funny thing. You think that's funny? I do. Why? I did not hear that. I think that we were, I, well, I just comparing the two kind of cactus. Um, just very different. Yeah. You haven't been out west though to see some cactus. See, that's a well, thing. I, I mean, there's no such thing right? as a saguaro so. cactus in Maine or Massachusetts. Oh, I know. What about down in, in um, Florida or anything? Well, I don't know. I, I, I bet we did. It obviously wasn't the most important thing to me. Um, I don't remember. The palm trees. I remember the yeah. first time when you were big enough going to Florida that you noticed that there were palm trees were there. So that's a change. Yeah. All right. So here I'm going to have this nice dark, and I want to get a little just softer as I'm coming down. I don't have to worry about blending the colors, though. Have to do that. Oh, I got it in my hand. Actually, let me see. Okay. All right. I do want, if you're doing this, I'm pretty sure nobody's coloring in the whole sky black. But if you color, if you do go ham and you color your whole sky in black, you're not going to be able to show the silhouettes of your trees unless they're only up against the sand, okay? There won't be any contrast, you won't be able to show them. Which is really the only other piece to this picture that you have to give a little bit of consideration to, okay? How's that, we good? 
How are you doing? Good. Is anybody, um, anybody have any questions? No. 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 No questions. No questions? Like, um... They're handling it. You know, what's my favorite ice cream or... What is your favorite ice cream? Oh. <laughs> um, I like, um, coffee ice cream with, like, chocolate in it. And you like to eat a whole pint of... Cherry, Cherry Garcia. Garcia. Yeah, I hadn't done that in a long time either. Kind of like to hanging out in front today. of the moon. Was I hadn't eaten a pint of ice cream in a while, and and you realized you could without I any didn't problems. have any trouble at all. No, 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 no. I'm a hungry. I'm a hungry person. Okay, all right. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put this little bit here. What's this, Daphne? Oh, uh, mountains. Sand yeah, dunes? yeah, yeah. Okay. Some sand. I don't know. Yeah, I mean they could be sand dunes or their mountains or or whatever. It's just some kind of um, um, elevation elevated landscape there. Okay, this is the key though. Don't make it big, because what's going to happen is you're going to have all of these trees, and if you have a great big thick, well number one too, you'll cover your sun up. But if you have a great big thick bit here, when you go to put these trees up. Not trees. I don't know why you're calling. I mean, is a cactus a tree? I don't know. Me either. I, it's a succulent. Uh, I mean, they're big, though. Some of them are really big. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, they are. And they grow up. They're old, too. Um, well, anyway, if you make it really tall, and it's you know a little bit darker than the sky, when you go to put the cactus there, you're not going to see the cactus because it's going to be a, a black thing against a, a dark thing and it's just not going to show up. So keep it small. And I'm going to take um, just like a darker brown. Um, I think I'm going to use this cooler dark brown. So I'm going to go right along this orange line that I started with. Okay? And um, just kind of wiggle that along the top a little bit and kind of roughen it up. Give it a little shape to it. You know, maybe a little bit taller over to the right side of the paper because I've got the big guy over there. You know. Okay. And I'll blend that in. I want this pretty dark though because this is on the other, you know, is in a sense silhouetted against the sun. But we're not making it totally black. It would probably be pretty dark in reality if you were there. But, you know, this is a colored picture, so I'm going to use colors. Even, even if it, the color is brown. I'm not a brown. A brown person, but sometimes you need it. Okay, so same deal here. I'm going to go nice and dark against this. And then I'm just going to bring that up and down a little bit. This summer I did this picture with the kids in my, uh, not this summer, but last summer, because I run um, week-long art camps in the summer for all the different ages. When they did this. And what we did was I used um, the, the cardboard left over from like the pads of paper, and I put prime those up so they wouldn't um, curve when we painted them. And then they painted the sunset on it, and then I gave them brown paint for the sand. I mean, yeah, brown paint for the sand, and I just dumped sand in it, and then they mixed it all around. And so it was like a real sand in the paint down on the ground. And then we let them dry, and then we made, uh, we cut out the cactus from uh, well, we use sticky foam, but I'm working to not use sticky foam anymore. But, and st stuck them on there, and oh, it came out great. Yeah, we did. Yeah, they were really neat. Really, really neat. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a ground, uh, the sand color on here. This one is pretty reddish. Um, that's not the color I used in my other one. My practice, I use this, but I think maybe I'll use this and, and a little bit of the reddish. But keep it light, because if you don't use a light color, like if you want to use green, I don't, you know, go ahead and use green, but just use light green, okay? Um, if you don't have something you think that's light enough, 
put um, a little bit of white with it or put a little bit of yellow with it with whatever color you put on there. I'm going to put a little of this on here. Alrighty, and let's see. Yeah, those were fun ones. Just because the um, foam stick, sticking on top just had it, gave it a, a little bit more three-dimensional quality to it. And it was definitely something that everybody, they could all do themselves too, so that's always good. Because if they can't do, if we have to do a craft and they can't do themselves, then I have to make Daphne get out of bed and come down and help us. Yeah. And Daphne doesn't want to be an art teacher. No. <laughs> no one don't. All right. Oh, so there's that. Let me put a little... Um, what I'm going to do with this one is, you know how I have a little piece here? This is supposed to be a little bit of land. So I'm going to do that with my black one first, and then I'm going to use that mm -hmm. to blend onto the sand so it's a little grayish. And what I've got is this knot going all the way across, so there's a little place for the person to walk into my um, desert paradise here. Oh. Lydia's watching. Hey, Lydia. Is she watching? Is she drawing? I don't know if she's drawing. Oh, how fun. How nice. She's probably making witty comments. She's good at that. The whole Chase family are very good at witty comments. Yes, very, very, very funny. good sense of humor in that family. Okay. All right, so I've got this on here. I want to keep it. She says, hi, Val, with a heart. Oh, good, thanks. Thanks, heart, heart you're right back. I'm going to keep this nice and light. A little bit of a race on here. This is all stuff like this is a great way to practice using your eraser too, because you're not really doing anything too important, and you get the hang of how much pressure to use and how big of a um, movement you can use. Because if you go, you can crumple your paper, which is what I did. I just just did a little illustration um, for a coloring page for uh, Pepinos in Bangor. And um, I'm like almost done, and I think I'll erase my my, pen, my pencil lines. And of course, I erase really hard and like crumple the whole paper up. <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah, that's the way it goes. Okay, this I'm gonna put a little bit. I could probably do this at the end, but I'm gonna do it right now. So you know, maybe there's a little bit of desert grasses. Desert grasses. <laughs> But this is such a neat little effect. I, I just thought, I wish I'd thought, known about doing this a long time ago because this works great. Doesn't matter what you do, little. I, I think try not to be like a comb. You know, just be a little random here and there. Maybe a little extra in one spot. If you put some little dots next to it, it'll look a little bit like, you know, weeds that have little flowers on them or something. Okay. All right, I gotta do the thing up here, my ground. So I'll start kind of low, you know, again, maybe work myself up to a little bit bigger, which will also be um, repetition in my picture and my design for how I did the same thing on the horizon line, right? Yeah. And I'm going to use brown, even though it's black in this picture, this brown is plenty dark enough to do its job. Um, I actually practice in, um, I was going to do a very dark, that sepia that I have for my oil pastels is a brown, a very cool brown that's almost black, and I was going to do the cactus with that, but... Um, I don't have that in this kind of pastel. So maybe maybe a couple that are taller. Okay. Not too tall though, or you'll be like, oh no, I messed those up. They're in my shadows and stuff. Okay. How are you doing, Daphne? You getting it? Yeah. I need to work on my land. 
Okay, so if you are, you know, like this picture and you like this approach, um, there's almost 30 uh, other shows for you to watch on um, on um, YouTube and uh, free on, drawing classes with Valerie, with Valerie Wallace, Wallace Fine Art. Arts. Um, you should be able to find them, and um, there's a picture so you can tell exactly what it is that you're looking for. You know what what you're gonna draw. The ones that are on Facebook. Um, I'm having a hard time making Facebook set up a playlist and, um, it also, um, doesn't, doesn't do that. It doesn't have the thumbnail with it. It has just, um, like me doing it, doing the drawing, but it has the title, so it's not complicated. Okay. So you can do that and give you something to do. And you know, anyone can do it again. My mother is 87 and she is telling me every day how much fun she's having drawing and um, she has never had fun drawing as far as I know all of her life for 87 years so if that's not a vote a vote of approval no what's it called I don't know. <laughs> something of approval I don't know. okay time to put our cactus in there okay this is the this is the important thing is, is that every cactus is gonna have a shadow all right the shadows for the ones on the left are going to go in this direction, you know, whatever, you know, in relationship to the sun. They're going to either go this way or they're going to go this way. Um, and what happens is where you put the base, if they all line right up, it's not a hard thing to um, do the, sh the shadows because it, they'll all be spaced out just right. But when you have them at different spots, closer to the horizon and closer to the bottom, um, sometimes their shadows want to run into each other. And... Um, if you see that it's going to happen, you can always make one of them a little bit longer, like go down a little bit with it, and that might help to make that space. But, you know, it's not the end of the world. And if they do overlap, they overlap, because that's what happens in reality. So don't, don't let that hold you back. Um, when you do the cactus, just forget about, you know, the pieces on either side, and, and just see that there's one big piece down the middle. We have two big ones, okay? Notice that it almost touches the top of the page. So don't make them all this big. You know, use this because by varying the size, that's another, you know, um, contrast of size is another um, way, a d design element that will help, you know, your picture look better. So let's start with this guy, the big one, okay? So give him a little space from the side so, you, so the arms fit in here. And I'm going to start way up at the top. And if you don't make a line, I wouldn't go all the way to the bottom, but if you're... Um, cactus leans a little bit, you know, it's nature. That's all right. Maybe a bunch of mean ants grew um, a little house on one side and they pushed it over a little bit. You know, maybe it's just nat natural. Or, uh, what did they get? Oh, sandstorm. They don't, I don't think they get tornadoes necessarily, but, you know, the wind constantly pushing from one direction, go give it a little, you know, uneven shape. I have a hard time making things not symmetrical. So if you can do it, be glad you can do it. Okay. So then I'll have, um, two pieces. Well, a piece like this, and maybe I'll just go ahead and do the one and do a tall one like this. Okay. And then I'm just going to curve those. They kind of curve down a little bit, not so much just directly into the um, cactus, but if you start a little bit leaner, to your shape, to your lines, then flesh them out a little bit as you go along. And, it, and obviously, just like a regular tree, you're going to be a little thicker on the base piece. Okay? So make sure that you're not, it's not fatter at the very top than it is down the bottom, or, or it will kind of look like it's going to fall over. Okay? So this one has this, and it also has another little branch. So I'll just, you know, put that out there. Oops. Because what it is, it's not going to be each cactus. It's going to be the overall effect of a bunch of different size cactus that are there. So you, you know, you want to have that. You want to have a variety. <sighs> okay. Let me do mine down here because this is all we have. To, all we have left. We'll do the cactus and we'll do some shadows and we'll be, um, you know, ready for lunch. Ready to go back outside. Here, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Although I was moving wood around from all the trees that got knocked over in the storm. And I had one more uh, load I was going to do. And then the tractor stopped working again.
Who's home? Who is here? I don't know. Somebody's upstairs. Calvin? Mm -hmm. In the car back? Maybe. Yeah. I'd be surprised if he doesn't come down here. No, we don't want him near us with his germs. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to do the other big one because that'll help me to sort of place where I want to put the other ones on there. This one has a little bend to it. I don't know if I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to bring this right over here. Okay. And then I'll do the two arms sort of like this. And then bring them in. All right. Always fun to draw something with a sunset or paint something with a sunset. Okay. Um, all right. So now I want to make a couple that are smaller. So this is the thing: is I don't want I don't want my cactus to end in the the um, mountain part. I want it to go above or not cross it at all, or at least cross over it. So I'm going to have it go up like this. Um, and this would be, um, let's see, this one I'm going to make a little, it's going to be farther away because it's, and maybe I'll make this one a little taller. It obvious, I mean, there could be one that's way far away that's enormous. So you don't necessarily, because it's older, but if you imagine they were all about the same age and all about the same size, then the smaller they are, the farther away they're gonna look and it would make sense for them to um, also be the, the old, the biggest and the oldest ones will be the closest to the bottom of the page, okay? I don't know if I can say it the other way and have it make sense, so. Um, but, because, like I said, they, it could be a big one that's far away, so you don't really have to go by that rule. All right, there. Yeah, so maybe um, I'll put a couple over here. Th these two are just, that's just a big, long thing, and then, I don't know, maybe kind of like that. I All like right. the little ones. Very cute. Are they? Yeah, thank you. Okay, so this would be a time that I will tell you right now that if I make two that are right next to each other, if I want their shadows to show, I'm going to have to take the one that's on the left and bring that a little bit lower than the one that's on the right, and you'll see in just a second. So if you have a couple that are close together, I guess that I wouldn't want to say it ahead of time because I probably get to say it wrong backwards. But so like these two are pretty close, but I'm putting the one that's on the left. A little bit lower because when I put these shadows in they're all gonna kind of stripe out like that which is gonna be cool this one I want to have you know my big guy decidedly lower than the small one so if I have to I'll just bring that down a little bit more so it's clear okay and if you can let's see one two three four five six seven odd numbers are always thought of as a little bit more random so if you can do some odd numbers be, be awesome okay I'm gonna put the couple in down here and then we'll put the shadows on and We'll, we'll be on our merry way. And then I gotta go figure out what we're gonna do tomorrow. Mm. What's on my list? Do you remember? Mm. A Viking. Oh yeah, the Viking. Um. I was gonna I was trying to think of another one with some figures, with some people for practice too for that. Like with the Viking? No. Oh. No, like a different one. Like a scene. Yeah, yeah, but I haven't thought of, I'm trying to think of something I, I mean, like the kid with the, uh, not the kayak, the kid with the kite. You could do a kid in a kayak, a canoe. The I actually have a nice kayak, ca canoeing sunset picture that I've always been meaning to do in the summertime and I've never gotten around to it. It's really, really, like a poor, um, quality picture so I have to doctor it up to be able to do it so I haven't never done it. Oh now is your chance. 
Yeah, I do have some, like, people in vaults. Yeah, the one by the mountain, kind of. Well, there is the Katahdin one. Yeah. 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 That's a good one. It's a crowd pleaser. That is a crowd pleaser. I did that for a bachelorette party. And they, oof, I don't know, there were a dozen of them. And we actually had it outside in my yard. It was in June. It was a beautiful day last year. And they did really, really well. And it was really fun. So hopefully we'll get to the point where we can do something like that again. It might be September, but we'll get there. Okay. Good? You ready? Me? Yeah. I mean. Okay, so I'm going to, rather than black for the, I mean, you can use black if that's all you got. Like down here, I'll have to use black. But um, I'm going to use just a darker, I'm going to use this reddish brown. That's what's going to be my shadow color. Whatever the color of your ground or whatever, once you choose the color for a shadow, it's the same color no matter what is being reflected in the shadow or what is causing the shadow. Okay? It's always the same, same color. Okay? Um, which is a, a little different than... Um, all right, so I'm going to do this. Now, so then my this one right here, the sun is very low, so the shadows are nice and long. If you want to be so fancy that you put in a shadow part of the where the arms go, don't overthink it. Don't worry about it being perfect because no one will notice. Okay? But you could put those in there or you can just make a line. So the ones over on this side of the sun are going to go to the left, and the other ones are going to go in the other direction. But they are parallel, Okay? You know what I mean? So they don't crisscross each other. They're all going at the same angle. Like these. So I'll do here. And here. You know, if, you're not, if you don't get it perfectly, don't worry about it. But that's the goal. Okay? So here I kind of colored over my grasses in my front foreground here. So I'm going to just touch those up. Just like that. No big deal. Okay. So it's a little skinnier on the ones that are um, smaller. And I'll do it down here. What else do I need to say? Oh, if, um, if you'd like to leave a donation by any chance, if you're feeling it, um, you can go to Valerie Wallace Fine Arts is my web, my web page, which you could also just check out. Super fun. To see some things I do besides these things. And um, there's a ticket page, and you can leave a donation there for as little as a dollar, which, you know, dollars add up. So don't feel funny about it. If that's what you, you know, can come up with, then just. That's good. It's fine with me. And uh, then I know you're out there watching, because that's part of it. It's like, if, if not, just give me a like so I know you're out watching. Um, or. Uh, you can even just send me a picture of what you drew. Yeah, that's it. I just like to know you. I just like to know there's somebody out there. I mean, I know my mom and um, my kid and my family's watching, and I know Lydia's watching. <laughs> How's that? Looks good. I don't know if you can see, but maybe on this one, the difference between like no shadows. Oh, do I have a wet piece of paper? You know, if you take them out, and it's just like this, and then you put them in, you see how it just makes the tree go, like, just stands right up? Yeah. It's a, he, really important. Make sure that they touch the bottom of, of the cactus. Okay? Um, all right, so I'll see you tomorrow at 1 o'clock. And invite your friends. Yeah, that would be another thing. If you can't, you know, if you can't, if, you, if money's tight and whatever, then just share it. That would be just awesome to me, just as, just as great. You can um, pull them. Thank you. Here's the um, close-up so you can finish up. <laughs> hey, Bethany. Does that mean um, Grant and... Um, 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 I'm blanking on his name. Charlie? Those guys watching? Is Grace watching or does that mean Becky's watching? Katie! David Miller? No way. Hey, Alicia. Hey, Tammy. Hey... My sister-in-law is watching. That's because she's that lives out in the West. She's a true Western cowgirl. Yep. 
Yeah. Oh, I see everybody. Okay, thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day.